we talked earlier about you know the fair we were of course going to mm -hmm. the Marion County Fair and Nelson County Fair and all the fair foods and what were some of your favorite fair foods we already talked a little bit about that with the mm -hmm. cattleman's ribeye yeah. sandwiches and yeah. funnel cake and stuff mm -hmm. of that nature but just summer in general when you're not actually at the fair mm -hmm. is there anything that you look forward to eating in the summer well you know here recently corn on the cob mm -hmm. some of the sweetest corn uh, Boy, I bought some in the in the spring, and I just thought it was a fluke, you know. <laughs> you know, oh sure, I finally buy one one um, container of it, and it's really, you know, really good stuff. So then I saw some more a little later on. I went back and bought corn, and it was like good again. So I'm thinking, oh boy, this is great summer food. I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> I love corn, corn on the cob. Yes. I, I love tomatoes too. Right. Yes. Oh, I love tomatoes. Those are my <laughs> favorites. Yes. Do you like corn and tomato together? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Now, my dad used to have a recipe for tomatoes and cucumbers, onions, and vinegar. Mm -hmm. You know, and he would make this concoction up, and he loved it. He mm. Yeah, that does sound good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had like a, like a cucumber mm -hmm. salad, cucumber type salad. Of something like that. Mm -hmm. That would be really good, too, if you added, like, the mozzarella cheese yes. to that, too. Yes. I love a caprese with the tomato and the mozzarella mm -hmm. cheese and balsamic drizzled on it. Ooh, That's yeah. really good, too. Yes, indeed. That sounds like dinner in Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Yes, good stuff. Yeah. So what, what are your favorites during the summer? Um, let's see. Well, Keller here that she says, well, she likes a good bowl of water, oh, but yeah. cold water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can understand that. That's her favorite. But, uh, you know, corn, I do like corn too. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, I think I've told you this story before, we used to have corn on the cob for <laughs> like Sunday dinner. And we'd help, I had to tell you this story before. Yeah. And we would help and uh, we'd have to husk and I never liked to husk. Uh -huh. So I made a deal with my mom, I wouldn't eat the corn if I didn't have to husk. So I didn't, didn't eat it much when I was a kid because yeah. I didn't want to husk, yeah, husk the corn. corn yeah. no, and occasionally there'd be like a worm in it, which is kind yes. of disgusting. So yes. I, I didn't like that. that. Yes. Yeah. As kids, we had to do it too, I had uh -huh. to husk the corn. And then, and then we, my mom was like, get all those little silk things off there, you know, mm -hmm. and, you, and you get them off the best you hard. could. And your mom said, well, there's more, more of that silk left on there. And you shuck that corn, pull those leaves back, and then there'd be a caterpillar in there. And mm. oh my God, you never heard such screaming in all your <laughs> life. <laughs> now, did you throw it away? Scrub that, that ear of corn, if there was a, or would you just kind of like get rid of the worm and oh, cut around it? That was my mom's duty. Oh, you? <laughs> After that, we were all hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> It's a worm in the house. Well, when they're boiling it, it will die. In the water. <laughs> More protein. <laughs> exactly. What the heck? It'll boil up. It'll be yeah, fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure she just pulled it off, threw it outside huh? somewhere, let it go, you know, and, and just c continue to <laughs> husk the corn. I, uh, so I like corn now. Mm -hmm. And I make, we have this corn salsa that we make, which has corn, basil, red onion, mm -hmm. and a balsamic vinegar and it's really good to eat with the, like chips and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, tomatoes, really right? Tomatoes in there? Mm -mm, no tomatoes. No tomatoes? Mm -mm. No. Ooh, it's yeah. a corn salsa. Uh, well, interesting. Do you like corn? I've, 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 it's I've good. Had I've had it chilled. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yes. Chilled. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh -huh. um, it and that's really good. Mm -hmm. And again, I never used to eat a whole lot of tomatoes really either, but I do like a tomato every once in a while. I'm not as big a fan as like you are and mm -hmm. I know some other people are because if I eat too many tomatoes my uh, my gums bother me yeah a lot of acid in, mm -hmm. in tomatoes so therefore so, it, it's kind of difficult for people to eat a lot of them now my dad used to eat them by the bag you know he'd st eat like just stop somewhere get a bag of tomatoes and salt, salt and pepper and eat them like an apple you know or an orange whatever mm -hmm. you know and he just loved those so of course Pass them out to the back seat, you know, the, the peanut gallery. You know, we'd all sit there and <laughs> eat them too. Eat tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so. But I like tomatoes. It's just mm -hmm. not as uh, I like good tomatoes every mm -hmm. once in a while, but not as regularly as like corn. I could eat a whole lot of corn. <laughs> yes, indeed. I've eaten a whole lot of corn lately too. And then I do like ice cream too. Yes, I know this thing. Well, you know what? Well, what do you like? Is ice cream what you go to for a cool off thing during the summer, or you just like ice cream? No matter what, 
summer or winter. Well, I think it's rude to make it have to just be in the summer. That's kind of rude to ice cream. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> so I can eat it whenever, but I think you eat more in the summer. You eat more ice cream or more popsicles? Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. I don't really eat popsicles, although there is a popsicle store in Louisville called Steel City Pops. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about that? It's a no. local, well, they have really good popsicles. Do they? Oh. Yeah. So I have had, I've had more of them recently than I've had popsicles in a, yeah. a long time. Yeah. We used to eat popsicles when I was younger and I liked fudgesicles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather a fudgesicle than a, like a fruit I like the banana. Popsicle. The banana. Oh. oh. Banana fudgesicles. Those are wonderful. And banana popsicles are wonderful too. I've uh, de developed mm. a, a new a new relationship with the, with them here lately, <laughs> but um, with the banana, <laughs> banana popsicles and all just popsicles in general, general. <laughs> lately trying to keep cool. You uh -huh. know? But um, there's, and and I like uh, the watermelons and all the different melons, mm. you know, during the yeah. summer to cool off. See, I'm not a melon fan. Oh, gee, you don't know what you're missing, kiddo. Mm. Yeah, we used to have watermelons for dessert when I was mm -hmm. younger too, and they don't love that. I, mm -mm. Yeah. I've never, I've never liked watermelon. I don't like cantaloupe or honeydew or anything like that. That's so un-American, and you're wearing a red shirt. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a, I'm not a melon fan. I like apples mm -hmm. and grapes and blackberries and blueberries mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. I like other, I like berries more than I. Well, yeah, your your berries are your antioxidants, so that's good. They're healthy. Yeah, they are. I, I use them in my smoothies. Mm. Yeah, I use the berries and all. So that's, that's good. That's good. I'm getting you. some good stuff. Yes, indeed, you are. You are. You are very healthy. That's right. And you know, this other thing that I do like eating in the summer, mm -hmm. although I can't get it in Kentucky, is water ice. Oh, I've heard yeah. of water ice. I don't. I may have had a water ice at uh, a carnival before. Well, see. What I grew, grew up with, the water ice that I grew up with, it's hard to explain exactly what it is because it, it's, it's just a, it's a, if you describe it, people are like, oh, that's a slushy or that's a, um, that Italian Snow, ice snowball. is grape or yeah. a snowball uh -huh. and it's uh -huh. not, it's a little, it's different. Uh -huh. It's really good. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> but I can't, uh, they, they don't make them outside of certain areas uh -huh. and from the East Coast where I'm from, they are right. everywhere. Like when I, Used water to work yeah. 20 yeah, years ago that for lunch. I would have a oh. water ice and a soft pretzel uh -huh. for lunch. And I like chocolate water ice. Oh, well, what kind of pretzel right. you like? A salted one. Salted pretzel. Salted soft pretzel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. good. Yeah, there's all kinds of, br well, if you go to the malls now, there's a. a yeah, well, like Annie there. Ann's and stuff yeah. like that, which are good, but they're not like the soft pretzels that I grew up with either, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. But. Uh, but they get more of them. Some, a lot of restaurants now are making soft pretzels mm -hmm. that are uh, like the Bavarian soft pretzel or yeah. whatever, which are pretty good. Yes. Well, but we've got all kinds of treats for the summer, don't we? Exactly. I love barbecuing too in the summer, but mm -hmm. although I, it's rude to only barbecue in the summer too, you know, you barbecue <laughs> year round. <laughs> now, do you like barbecue sauce? Some barbecue sauces. And sometimes I make my own. Okay. You know, I, I determine, you know, what I like. You know, and then I put what I like in it, and or, or I just buy a, a basic sauce, and then just put those things in it that I like, and make my own barbecue sauce. Or, you know, I've gone to Famous Dave's and all those different places that have that are barbecue places, and you know, the sauce is okay. See, I we had barbecue, we had ribs this weekend, mm -hmm. but I don't like sauce, so we got without sauce. I'm just not a barbecue sauce yeah. fan. They're kind of dry then without sauce, aren't they? Not if they're made right. No. Okay. <laughs> Not if they're but you know, I would. <laughs> well, it's like like I don't like ketchup too. Yeah. Like so, like on a hamburger, I used to put like my mom would make onion dip with sour cream and an onion uh -huh. soup mix, and I could put that on my uh -huh. hamburger or something. Uh -huh. Or mayonnaise. Or I, I like other condiments with it. Mm -hmm. I just I'm not a barbecue sauce fan. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know that onion mixture you were talking about. You can also put that in the hamburger. Mm -hmm. You know, it's tasty. Yes, yeah, very tasty. Oh. We should have, if you have special recipes for making hamburgers, because that's very a good summary thing. Yes, it is. What, uh, email them to us, and maybe we'll have some people come on and make hamburgers sometime. That'd be great. And then we can taste test them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And see what kind of uh, treats they put in them. Like if mm -hmm. they put 
onion soup mm -hmm. mix or you know some people put whatever. cheese cheese in the middle of a hamburger. Have you ever heard that? Okay. Uh, I I think I've heard. I've never had that. Uh huh. Yeah, you can put cheese. Do in you that. like a cheeseburger or a hamburger better? Uh, I usually go for a cheeseburger. Really? Yeah. I, you know, if it's not well, yeah, I used to put a slice of cheese on. And what's your favorite cheese? Uh, probably sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar on your yeah. hamburger. Mm -hmm. I like pepper jack too, and then. But see, I like so many cheeses, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like, uh, I like, like just about. Do you like blue cheese? Uh, dressing. But not the cheese. Not the cheese. cheese. You know, I've never had. I've never really had the cheese to eat. I've only had uh, blue cheese in dressing. Dressing. Mm -hmm. See, I like uh, this place we go that has. I get it, if I get a burger, I get it with blue cheese and bacon on it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now there was a restaurant here in town that served a blue cheese burger mm -hmm. one time. Yeah. And those were really good. Yeah. 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 That, I like blue cheese. I like lots of cheeses. And again, I never used to eat a whole bunch of different cheeses mm -hmm. either. Now see, I used to get the mushroom burger. Okay. Same. So you like mushrooms? Uh huh. The mushroom burger. Mushroom burger with cheese. Oh. oh. Now that's uh -huh. decadent. That certainly <laughs> is. <laughs> when you eat one of those, you deserve every pound you put, every inch you put on those thighs. You know, you, you deserve it. You deserve all you get. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Exactly. It's wonderful. Yeah, Riley would like to eat a hamburger of any kind. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> He's out there trying to sniff around. You know, uh, the other day when I was driving up the hill out to the tower site here in Lebanon, there were turkeys, the wild turkeys oh, that are out. Uh -huh. And actually, earlier today, I saw some back in the field back here, too. But what I saw uh, last week, which I had never seen before, were little baby turkeys following Oh, them. how yeah, sweet. Yeah, they were only like this big, and there were like eight of them or whatever. Uh -huh. They looked like little ducklings, uh -huh. you know? Following mom. Yeah, but they were turkeys, so I assume they're little turkey babies. Because uh -huh. <laughs> they were gray, and they were brown or gray uh -huh. or whatever uh -huh. they are, you uh -huh. know? Following them, like, that's so cool, because there were two of them. And uh -huh. two big ones, and then a bunch of these little babies. Yeah. Well, you you have all kinds of animals out here because I've been here before, and I've seen the turkeys going across the street or across the street, across the road already over in that yard. And then I've seen deer cross the road at uh -huh. night, you know. So, and what you had ki ki coyotes over here on the yeah, hill. Yeah, attacked one of my dogs. Oh, coyotes there for a while, and uh, there's, I'm <laughs> sure there's snakes, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> well, why'd you have to say that? <laughs> just, I hate to mess, just to mess with you. <laughs> exactly. That's one thing. I just, I, I kind of like any animal that has fur on it or hair or something. Yeah. But if it's just a hair, slimy a hairless old snake. thing, I'm not a slimy snake. I'm not a fan of that. I know. Well, you had moles too at one time, didn't you? The dogs were chasing moles. Yeah, yeah, and they go, they give you little mounds of dirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little mounds of dirt. Well, you you wouldn't be able to catch them now because you got so much grass out here. Exactly. Your, your lawn is all green now, so looks good. Yeah, looking <laughs> real good out here. You know, and you should show the viewers sometimes your view from the top of this hill because it is just gorgeous. It's wonderful out here. I think they'd rather watch you. Oh, thank you. Gary. <laughs> so we're coming up till the to the end of June. End of June. And we have our list of some different stuff that's going on mm -hmm. for uh, June. So let's see what we have today. As we're recording this, as we said, it's June the 27th. Oh, we just missed. What? what, 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 what? Take your dog to work day. Oh, darn. See? Well, I decided to today anyway. <laughs> your dogs are at work with you every day. Yeah. So. <laughs> I decided to bring them anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the 27th is Decide to be Married Day. Okay. I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> It's Happy Birthday to You Day. Uh huh. Industrial Workers of the World Day. Uh huh. National HIV Testing Day. Mm -hmm. PTSD Awareness Day. Mm. And so they're all oh, in the Great American Backyard Campout Day. Oh. oh. We could have put a camp or a, a tent out. A tent out there. Oh, yeah. Gosh, we certainly could have. Darn it. <laughs> Maybe next year, Gary. Yeah. We'll have to remember that next yeah, time. Yeah. We'll have to remember that for next time. Yeah. Uh, the 27th is International Body Piercing Day. Mm. I've never even considered that. Have you? Well, you have earrings. Well, I mean. Okay. Any other part? In, nothing else. You yeah. Know. No. Just, this if is, you were. This is pretty traditional. What know? other body part would you consider piercing? <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> I 
Um, piercings, piercings. None of them appeal to me. That just uh, that just is not something that appeals to me at all. Yeah. I, you know, I look at people that have the piercings and it either looks painful or it just doesn't go with the outfit. You know, or, or you know, you know what I'm saying. It just doesn't just yeah. doesn't appeal to me. There are plenty of people out there with them. You know, God bless you. You know, fine. Well, even some people with the ears have them all the way up the ear, and especially yeah. that's painful up top. Yeah. Have be, you heard that? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. You don't have them all the way up, right? No, no. I I have two two piercings, ears. You know, but in each ear. In each ear. But the second one there, I never use. I mm -hmm. never do anything with that because it, it just looks weird to me. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm pr I, so I'm pretty sure those holes have closed by now. I never have actually wanted a piercing. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to when I was younger, I couldn't have. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. <laughs> my you parents the wouldn't nose. let me to. You went to your nose. And I never really wanted to, uh -huh. but if I had when I was younger, and then after, if I was going to, I just never really wanted to. Yeah. But no, if I want to do the nose, I don't think. And like when people do their tongues, they're hard to understand. Sometimes. I know they're talking, and you're going, what? So, but uh, I don't know where I would get pierced if I was At going your to. ear. So you could look like Johnny Depp. Well, that's exactly what I want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. You, you and your... Uh, you'd be a pirate. Pirates, that's yes. right. Well, you'd be a great pirate. <laughs> so you got the laugh for it already. That's right. You've got the laugh. You're, you're halfway there. Halfway there. Yes. So, also on the 28th, it's America's Kids Day. Mm -hmm. It's the Log Cabin Day, Descendants Day, and then the 29th is Please Take My Children to Work Day. <laughs> so that's not even taking your own children. No, you're that's not taking your own. Sending them with take, somebody else. Yes, yes, please take my children to work with you, please. It's uh, the 30th is Leap Second Time Adjustment Day. Oh, the Leap Second. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And some years, scientists don't make adjustments to this. Uh -huh. And it's either done on June the 30th or December, December the 31st. 30th. Okay. So I guess it's the end of, end of uh -huh. you know, fiscal year or mm -hmm. real year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then National Organization for Women's Day now mm -hmm. is the 30th uh -huh. as well. Okay. So there's some of the stuff for June. Mm -hmm. month of June. How time flies when you're having a good time, huh? I know. Gosh. We've been uh, talking too much. <laughs> Often. Yeah. And next time we talk, we'll have to talk about some of the stuff for July. Yes, that'll be wonderful. The month of Yvonne. The month of Yvonne. Some of the wonderful things. If you have any ideas for fun things for me to do during the month of July, just let me know because I'm always looking for fun stuff. Of course, I won't probably do any of them, but <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to have a list yes. just in case. You know, It's fun to have ideas. Yeah, it is. You know, <laughs> you know, you may, yeah. But, you know, other than that, for the 4th of July, there are a lot of runs around, so, mm -hmm. you know, if you get a chance to get out there and do some running, um, participate, push your stroller, whatever, you know, walk it, take a friend, take a couple of friends, take your kids, you know, just have some fun, get out there. Or and somebody walk. else's kids. And somebody else's <laughs> kids, yes. Or take Gary They'll with appreciate you. He'll it. walk with you. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> but get out there and have some fun with that. You know? Exactly. And then once you get out there and do that exercise mm -hmm. and get within 30 pounds of your ideal weight, you can go get Cool Sculpt. That's right, Cool Sculpt <laughs> it, you certainly can. And then you can go have a great meal at one of our other sponsors. Exactly, and you know, yeah, work your way back up. <laughs> work your way right back up there. So or have a cold good. beer from the yeah. beer cave at yeah. Keystone Liquors. Yes, it's, it's all good. Exactly, it's all good. Well, this has been Gary White. And Yvonne McNary. For Central Kentucky Talks on Central Kentucky Television. <laughs>